Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Dave and this is the Atomic Geekdom YouTube channel. Today we're doing an unboxing because it is unboxing day, I guess. I uh, hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a great day. Uh, lots of things happening in the world. Lots of things happening in the collector world. So uh, do your best to keep up. Uh, we'll try to bring in news as much as we can, but mostly we just like to uh, talk about the stuff we're collecting and uh, open them right here for you. <laughs> Uh, so that's what we're gonna do uh, today. I've got two Marvel Legends, uh, some X Men retros to open up, um, and we'll do that today. We'll open up two of them today. Uh, they're from a set of actually six of them that include Multiple Man, Avalanche, uh, guys like that. Uh, some of them we were able to show you. You can go back and look at those. Uh, maybe Kyle has found a way to pop them up over here uh, if you want to click on those. Um, uh, and then there are two that we could not do because. Uh, I recorded it, but it did not record. <laughs> so um, that notice reminds me to mute my phone. There we go. Uh, but yeah, there were two that I re tried recording. I actually filmed the whole thing, um, but apparently it did not record. And the audio, I should say. The audio did not record. So uh, looking right now, we're good with audio, so we can continue. Let's jump right into it. We've got uh, the Uncanny X-Men Wolverine. Uh, this is the Jim Lee artwork. Uh, uniform they all had this style uniform at the time awesome backing i love these backings retro on card um i would keep them on card um and display them on the wall behind me i probably should but i'm gonna open them kind of so i can display them in a case uh there's that the front there we've got uh, an accessory head it would have been nice if it was the mask though but that's okay and a set of a set of hands as accessories and you go to the back we've got a blurb and then we've got the whole wave here uh, we've got Avalanche, Spyro, Multiple Man, Longshot, Dark Phoenix, and Wolverine. Wolverine suits up with a new X-Men team to take on the world's greatest threats to mankind. What's great is you got a hero and a villain for every single one of these. Um, Multiple Man, Longshot, Wolverine being the heroes, Dark Phoenix, Avalanche, and Spyro being the villains. I guess you bear Multiple Man with Avalanche to fight <laughs> in that case. But uh, all right, let's pop this bad boy open. We got him out there he is in the plastic one more step and then we're we'll be free start off with uh so face okay faces aren't too different one just has a growling open mouth you can see the teeth there really the only difference um then we got two fisted hands with no claws you can see the little claw holders <laughs> uh release ports release valves in the in the gloves uh, then we've got Logan himself, old Wolvie. As everyone knows, not my favorite X-Man, but here he is anyways. Uh, there he is. Looking good. Good looking figure. I love the blue and yellow. I've always liked the Jim Lee art style. Uh, this costume was great. Uh, next week uh, or soon you should see my first uh, wave of the uh, Jim Lee set with uh, Gambit, Banshee, and Psylocke with the same costume. Uh, but gambit without the coat is wrong there's always be wrong but um but it still looks cool uh so there's there's wolverine not much to talk about paint job is good good face render i um, mean there's no mistaking this is gonna be wolverine no matter what you do uh claws and the hair and the being short it's very short i'll put them side by side with uh let's put them with punk also here is cm punk not really fair. Wrestlers are, I don't think our mods the same size, but uh, don't have any other legends nearby. We will in a moment though. Uh, so there's Wolverine, claws extended, of course. Gotta be careful, those things snap off pretty easily. So be very, very careful with that. Uh, good character, good solid. Um, Post ability is easy, the arms move good, the elbows are a little tight, but that's okay. Um, head, of course, will pop off for you. Arms. Both look good. Ab roller does the splits. Uh, there we go. Does the splits. Yeah, there we go. These these are tight, but they loosen up a little bit there. That's good. Ankle rockers. Ankle rockers. Good. Looks good. And he stands up on his own. Looks good. I know he will stand on a ringside collectible figure stand if you get those from ringside collectibles which i highly recommend you do 
All right, so, so there is a Wolverine. Next up, Dark Phoenix, looking great. I love the Dark Phoenix storyline, the Dark Phoenix saga, as it were. Not much in the way of accessories here for our lady, our lady in red. There's the back of it again. Just a little artwork and of course the cross cell. Let's read it. Overwhelmed by the power of the cosmic Phoenix entity, Jean Grey gives in to the being's destructive tendencies. <laughs> it's a little underwhelming. Um, sorry, I read slow. It's kind of dark in here. It's hard to see. I'm old. All right, let's pop it open. There she is, the Dark Phoenix, hanging out with the Hellfire Club. Not really in this costume, but shortly before. All right, a couple of accessories, let's get her up. So right out the gate here, we've got a little Phoenix. I don't know, it looks like maybe she can hold it in her hand, like it can wrap around her hand or arm. Phoenix on her arm. Come on. Give me that. I don't know. Um, <laughs> then we've got uh, a set of hands. These are like, you know, she's doing some magic. Not magic, but she's using her powers with these hands because otherwise she just comes with the fisted hands ready to fight. Really good face sculpt. I like the hair blowing in the wind. Really good paint work on the hair. Um, you're gonna get a good look at it right now in the glamour shot, I'm sure. Um, we got the Phoenix logo right on the chest. Arms move really well. Got the scarf uh, belt thing going on that they did all the time. Yeah, there she is. Looks good. Looks real, real good. I like this design of the Doc Phoenix. Does she stand? Lady figures are a little hard to stand on their own. She will need a figure stand to stay up in your, in your display cases, but that's okay. That's the tendencies of the lady figures. They tend to be a little smaller, but heavier up top. So there she is. Looks good. Looks great. Good looking figure. Good looking set. Good looking series overall. All six I uh, really liked. I mean, they're, they're a little weak as far as accessories go. Uh, aside from spiral spiral loads you up with accessories you get tons of weapons with spiral but for the most part you got a quite a quite a bit of bang for your buck um yeah a multiple man you might need a couple for your set for your display just to display how cool he actually is <laughs> not boring and lame um i think he was in x-men 3 the last stand as a villain i want to say i think that's right uh but yeah so there you go uh, that's going to do it this uh, for this episode. Uh, we'll be back again soon with more unboxings, more My GM mode, more convention coverage, more interviews, all of the great stuff that you see uh, weekly here at Atomic Kingdom on YouTube page. Please subscribe and like uh, this post. If you enjoyed what you saw, if you stayed all the way through, I really do appreciate you. Thank you so very much for hanging out with me today. Uh, thanks so much for hanging out with me here. Uh, I do appreciate you. Uh, and as always, we will see you on the next one. And thank you, Brandon, for editing this video. And we'll be back next time. Take care of yourselves and bye-bye. Happy collecting, happy hunting.